Right now I'm standing at the booth of the Carbonauten and with me is Anestes. He is brand manager and product designer of the Carbonauten. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you very much. It's the second year for you at the Green Tech Festival. Yeah, exactly. What does it make so special for you? Yeah, it's, it's great being here. It's great uh, meeting, uh, being here at this fantastic festival. Um, because we can show and prove to the people that industrial progress uh, and I protecting the environment are two things that align. They do not contradict each other. So we as Carbon Outen have developed a system based on carbonization with which industries can grow their profits and also reduce CO2 and their emissions at the same time. So in the end, it's a win-win situation. The more we produce, the better is for the environment. And how does this work? How does the product look like? Yeah. So. We, call, we produce what we call negative emission technology materials, net materials. That's because they store CO2. So the more we produce of it, the better it is for the environment and therefore the people. How is it storing? Uh, it's based on carbonization. So uh, we take waste, uh, biomass waste. So mm -hmm. plants and trees take CO2 via photosynthesis uh, and store it in them. But in the end, if they die and rot, the CO2 is then released back into the atmosphere again, so they are metabolized. That's why we produce charcoal or biocarbons out of it, mm -hmm. uh, because they store the CO2 uh, long term, so they do not um, dissolve or, as, or anything. So mm -hmm. one kilogram of this carbon, we call them biocarbons, stores up to three kilograms of CO2. Wow. And where do, do you get all the material you need for the production? So these are all waste materials from, di di from different industries. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot. So uh, our technology is quite flexible. Uh, we are not dependent on one waste stream. Um, there are, there's so much biomass that's rotting all over the world and burning because they are waste streams. So we can take them and turn them into a useful product. And what kind of products do you make out of the biocarbons? Yeah, so the biocarbons are then processed in different ways. Mm -hmm. For example, we grind them down to then later mix them with various binders to have semi-finished products for different industries. For example, this is a master batch for the plastic industry. So that means that we can combine them for th this material to this injection product, molded this parts. This is the product at the end. This is one, one product, for example, wow. that we could make or other industrial partners could make. So, and these are sturdy parts. The biocarbons themselves do not just fill, uh, are just not a filler. Mm -hmm. They also change the functionality. So they're sturdier, they are lighter, and also they are, are CO2 sink in them. So the more we produce, the better. Yeah, of course. And are you focusing on the plastic industry or are you looking at the whole spectrum? Yeah, so there are a lot of industries where we are getting into. Right now we are building up different business units. Uh, for example, the carbon out polymers, mm -hmm. which then will have expertise regarding this field. Uh, carbon out uh, construction uh, is about uh, putting the biocarbons in the concrete or in the streets, for example. Uh, carbon out energy because in the process we have we have a lot of waste energy the process we use um, just uses five percent of the energy itself so we don't need external energy for that we take the energy that's inside the 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 biomaterials and there are a lot of different other industries where we're getting into how long does it take to create this product so um, we have to differentiate the biocarbons themselves are produced in six hours, mm -hmm. then you need to cool them down. But then this is not the ready product. Then we mix them with various binders or, for example, substrates uh, for the agriculture industry. So you get uh, a material that then can be put into the soil, yeah. a soil enhancer. Mm -hmm. Then you have the CO2 from the air up in the soil. And you have there a lot of different products you can make out of the material. Can you just yeah, show us what you got. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, so this is a technical part I'm not allowed to speak about because we are still in development with another partner. But what we can see here is that this is a technical injection molded part. So this here, for example, was a test where we uh, mixed uh, the proteins, uh, the biocarbons with proteins to get a plant pot that you can put in the soil and the proteins dissolve. And then the, the biocarbons mix themselves with the soil to get Terra Preta, the soil enhancer. 
So daily there are produced 20 million plastic pl uh, plant pots in Europe alone. Wow. So by producing this here, it's not about just the biocarbons that are the sink, but we replace conventional products that are emitting a lot of CO2. So it's it's a yeah quite big impact we, we have. Is there a limit or can you just produce every product you want? Yeah, so uh, it depends on, of course, different uh, biomasses are, uh, yeah, are different biocarbons. Different. Yeah, of course. So our USP is to know what, to, what input to take and what products to make out of it for the industries, for the agriculture, for plastic industry, for the construction industry. Mm -hmm. So they have products that they can immediately use. It's very important to uh, have a big scale, otherwise there's no impact. We want to produce at very low prices, very high quality and very high volume. Uh, the, because minus CO2, which is our slogan and our brand, uh, this is our goal. And in this is otherwise we won't achieve that. Yeah. And what are your plans for the future? Is there something big coming up? Yeah, so um, as I just said, the scale is very important. So in 10 years, we want to reduce at least one ton, uh, one gigaton of CO2 and other climate gases. That's then ambitious. Nearly on. Yeah, otherwise there wouldn't be an impact. Yeah. If we don't achieve this in a few years, like the, this, uh, uh, um, the fast scale, then we, it doesn't make a difference if we, if we just uh, produce 5,000 tons of biocarbons yeah. that then store uh, 15,000 tons of, of uh, CO2. So it's, the big picture is to have a lot of decentral location sites because we share them with uh, different partners all over the world where we produce a lot of biocarbons and we want the carbons and these products to be in every people's life. And what are you looking for at the Green Tech Festival 2021? Yeah, so um, the good, th the amazing thing here is that people come, can come here and people can touch the CO2 things, these materials. People can experience what uh, these materials are. So mm. for the first time we have this disruption. The more we consume the, regarding the, our materials, the better it is. For the planet. Yeah, for the yeah. planet and also for the people then. And the point is that uh, here it's, it's amazing. You, you meet so many great people from different fields. And we are looking forward to also meet um, investors or other industries or partners for these applications mm -hmm. or also for our uh, scale plan for the location sites because we share our business model. Anestes, thanks a lot for joining us and yeah, bringing us the world closer to net material. Thanks a lot and all the best for you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Uh -huh.